I will be only 15 minutes. That's it. That's it. 15 minutes. Well, I did an early stream, and so I figured I'd balance it out with a, a late stream. Must bring balance to the force. And, uh, yeah. So I shall. Uh, welcome to the stream. Just gonna do some VR stuff. I think it's already a little borked. Let's see. I think I loaded up before I went into VR. Update available for the headset. Required update. Can you hear me now? The microphone stopped working on my index when I updated the headset. I had to update the headset. It was a mandatory update. And so I'm on my other microphone right now. Hang on. Can you hear me now, chat? Can you hear me now? Is it good? It's good. I think it's good. All right. I was in the shadow realm. Sorry about that. I like how people were calling that a bit. The bit where Vinny doesn't talk to the audience and his microphone dies. That's always been a knee slapper, you know. Just slapping them knees. Okay, opening up the thing so I can see the chat. You will have video in just a second. Okay, I have the chat. Okay, almost ready. Sorry, there was a, a mix up. So I'm a little late today because I started early and I took a, a break and I ended up getting really tired. So I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to relax a little bit. But now I'm, I'm ready. So we're going to try uh, Medal of Honor again. This Welcome time, to Medal of Honor you don't have to say that. And beyond. You, you really don't need to say the name of the game. Uh, this has been updated twice. So it seems to fix a number of problems that people have had, including the iron sights, some of the shooting um, performance, which we'll see if that's actually fixed. It fixes um, aiming stuff like, you know, like so your sleeves don't go through your face. I know VR can be tough to watch for some people, so I apologize if it sucks and I'm doing turns like this. I still can't quite do smooth locomotion. That's been um, a real sticking point. So, for example, if I do um, turnstile smooth, this is still not good. Try.
try increasing the turn speed. I'll try it. How's this look? Is this a little bit better, chat? I'll, I'll give it a shot. If it, if it starts to be a problem, then I'll turn it off. Another thing they did was they added... I, listen, I love Respawn as a developer. This game was rushed. Or, like, in development hell. Like, a lot of things didn't quite happen the way they should have. Uh, so, it looks like they added some options here. So, like, stuff like that is much welcome. They're doing another major patch. I want this game to be good. I've only done a little bit of the campaign, like, the first mission, which is, like, nothing. So, we're gonna basically start from the beginning and see what the campaign's all about. But first... But first... Nice paper physics. Got it. Stay alive and see you, Sergeant. Ollie. Okay, so this is not a mission that you really need to see. But it's only like two minutes, three minutes, so fuck it. Here it is, chat. This is the very beginning of the game in Tunisia, which is where I believe they filmed the Tatooine scenes in Star War. I can't believe you came back for us. You saved our lives. Look at that. Look Lieutenant, at that. You took a direct hit. How do you feel? That wound looks bad. I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Copy that. Lieutenant, Copy that. What you just did was both the bravest and dumbest thing I have ever seen. I am noticeably dumb. You took out eleven of Rommel's best men. <laughs> Make that 12. Lieutenant, please try not to move. What, 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 what do you mean, try not to move? Oh. I can't believe you came back for us. Oh. You saved our lives. Lieutenant, you took a direct hit. Mm. How do you feel? That move looks bad. I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Copy that. Lieutenant, what you just did was both the bravest and dumbest thing I have ever seen. I kept count. You took out 11 of Rommel's best men. <laughs> Make it 12. Lieutenant, please try not to move. Sir! Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. I can't feel anything! So, off to a good start. Hello. Good morning, Lieutenant. Arms. I'm Colonel Ebbets. Welcome back to the land of the living. You've been through a lot, so I'll keep it brief. I'm with the Office of Strategic Services. Our mission is sabotage, subversion, and everything in between. Sabotage? We're taking the fight to the Nazis going after the Third Reich and their home turf. We do some of the most dangerous work of the war. We're looking for people just like you. Now the sergeant and I go way back. He's an excellent judge of character. And for what you did- Sarge. Ah, oh, Sarge. For the Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor, that's, that's an early name drop. You can't do that. Doing paperwork. Right in the beginning. But in your case, I made an exception. Thanks, appreciate you that. You saved our lives. I have a motto. You look Life almost is human. Like a pageant of idiots and fools. But occasionally, you find yourself in the company of good people. And then, anything is possible. Lieutenant, you are now going to hear the most important question I can ask. Would you like to join the OSS? Excellent. 
What about you, gentlemen? <laughs> Give a thumbs up yes, to Bruce. <laughs> we go where the lieutenant goes. Uh. Yes, sir. I have every confidence you're going to make me look like a genius. I you. will make you look fantastic. Welcome I'm a good soldier. OSS. I won Warzone earlier for my team. Dave didn't. I did. Just so you know. All right. We all did. Doctor. Hello, Lieutenant. I'm Dr. Thatch. Lieutenant. To the infirmary. Hello. Ah, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. Ah, I know you're having some trouble speaking after what happened in Tunisia, so let's just use hand gestures, eh? You don't have to do that. You can set your game options in this interactive mode. Skip to firing range. I am always here, Lieutenant, so please, come back any time. You can access my office through the main menu. Good luck and tally-ho. Tally-ho! I can speak. I can speak. I can say words. So I haven't seen any of this. Uh, so here we go. Firing range, Lieutenant. Now that you're back on your feet, the Colonel thought we should give you a quick combat refresher. Your current objective is always shown on your sleeve. Potato. Oh, I see. Cover your hand over objects. Press the grip button to grab them. You can use either hand. Give your other hand a try. Now it's time to move, Lieutenant. I see you're right-handed, just like me. <laughs> you like bet, you bet ya. You bet ya. I got it. To run, press in the left stick. Oh, let me drop my damn potato. Let's move on to live fire training. Remember, you can always adjust your comfort and controller settings. This is my rifle. This is my gun. The menu. This is for fighting. This is for fun. My potato. I wish to keep my potato with me at all times. Ah, oh, so close. I do think this game has the potential to look decent. All right, Lieutenant. It's Not time to shoot terribly up. amazing, but decent. Is here to grab the pistol from its holster. Squeeze the trigger to fire. The fuck? You're on your back. Reach over your shoulder and grab your M18 fire away. Look at that. The arsenal of democracy in action. Remember, you can always hold a weapon bullseye. Now, insert the bingo. Letting go of a weapon will automatically holster it over your shoulder. Now, reach over your other shoulder and grab the M1 Garand rifle. The Garand? They made the ping louder, chat. They said that was in the patch notes. Nice. No need to charge the Garand. It's I don't want to do this over again. I'm not going to shoot him. Let go of the Garand and it will automatically return to its slot. You're doing great, Lieutenant. Let's move down to the next station. So they fixed, uh, eyeball physics, which clearly, this is, a thousand yard stare. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So they actually, in the patch, they fixed a bunch of things that people had issues with, but also eyeball performance. I don't know what that means. To help demonstrate some advanced weapon handling, you carry your pistol on your hip 
and a larger weapon on each shoulder. When you pick up a new weapon, it will replace the one you currently it's my have. My chest so big. Grab this Carabiner 98K rifle with your left or right hand. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now get ammo for this K98 from these ammunition boxes. Is the volume okay, chat? the thing is the fucking it's just so close to your face it's the problem like you can fix that they fix this a little bit but not entirely oh well Rusty nails. Also, you guys are seeing the left eye. I don't know if I can change that. Um, that would be good. That would be good. So many of these shoot games. So many of these shoot games have this exact thing. Where you just see the, the non-dominant eye. You fucking kidding me? VR is weird. I'm assuming these are not supposed to be here like this. Just stuck to me like that. It's fine. It builds character. No one is going to fight me when they see this. That's all we needed? That's convenient. The throwing isn't too bad in this game. That's been a big sticking point for me with a lot of... VR games is weird throwing. This is, it's not the best, but it's, it's pretty good. I can get kind of accurate. Just want to make sure not to like, you know, hit something in real life. But anyway. You're still with me, right chat? Yeah, you're, you're good. Fuck is this jank? I can't believe they hired real human beings to volunteer for this. And when he screamed, he went.
Why is there- the ammo should be a thing, no? I'm gonna get that bastard. I'm gonna get that bastard in the distance. First of all... No ammo. I'll take every ammo, please. Chat, I have to see if they fix the sniper rifle. Oh god. It's still awful. It's... Well, it's better, actually, somehow, than it was. I think they fixed the position of the scope. This is still the worst scope in VR, hands down. But I think they made it a little bit easier so you don't have to readjust every time. But it's, it's still not good. I will not be sniping as much as I can help it. God, it's so dumb. Man, I'm better at just hip-firing than I am at aiming down the goddamn sights, chat. Seriously. I don't know why I can do that. <sighs> nice. Nice gun. Nice accuracy. This thing's got, like, severe recoil. Nice life! I can't even throw the gun. Alright. <laughs> Gunplay's alright. I mean, it, you know, it's guns. It is certainly guns. Alright, sorry about that. I just, I, I had no, uh... I had, I had no choice. Why doesn't the car reload? It reloads in multiplayer. Learn Ollie's secret. It's Ollie, right? Yes, sir. Ollie, how old? I'm 23. Mate. I'm 19. I'm 16. Mate, what the fuck? I uh, have every I'm, right to be I'm here. 12. More than you, that's for sure. I, I'm the 8. They didn't bomb Abilene, Texas. They bombed London, England. I, I'm 6. They destroyed my home. They burned my entire life to the ground, and now I want to do the same thing to the Third Reich. Let me just sit my chest through this. I'll find a way to get to the front. How do you think I got to Tunisia? Forging transfer orders has become a hobby of mine. I will make it to France. Did you ever see that movie Small Soldiers? I am the Small Soldiers. Your secret's safe. I'm pretty sure the lieutenant isn't going to say anything. I how dare I can't. I can't. your head down and do exactly what I say. Yes, sir. You don't listen to me even once. I'll turn you over to the Germans myself, understand? I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Either of you. 
You know what the worst part is, chat? When I went to go do that, I felt something. It's my ottoman. God damn it. Fuck, you know. Well, until we get to shoot, I don't see why I need to stand up. I'm a lazy act. Lazy. I'm a lazy fuck. Lazy fuck. Where, where, where is it? Where, where, where is it? All right. Enough talking, training, and tests. It's time to go after the Nazis. Why can I pick this up? Sending you into occupied France. Yes, sir. Your first mission is to make contact with the French resistance. You'll be working with a cell led by Manon Batiste, who's been our eyes and ears on the ground since the war started. Your rendezvous will be along the coast, at the St. Catherine Lighthouse, the Germans are using as an observation post. The resistance will give you a signal when it's safe to come ashore. You'll have three days to assist the resistance, gather intelligence on German activity, and sabotage targets of opportunity. Hey, 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 hey. Small communications relay or a fuel truck, not anything like blowing up a train or destroying the Stapo headquarters. This is your first OSS mission. Baby steps. Now I want to introduce you to Huxley, our quartermaster. She'll get you set up with what you need, and she'll give you some nice goodie bags for the resistance. Three days in and out. Keep it simple. I'll see you on the other side. Dismissed. I'm a bird. Hello, I'm Huxley, your quartermaster. <coughs> I'm here to brief you on weapons, gear, ah! and all the threats you ah! face. I'm backed up by a full model shop, a sewing brigade, and the best gunsmiths the allied nations have. Have a look around. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. This special weapon is on loan from Colonel Ebbets. Apparently it's a family heirloom. He calls it Uncle Nate's rough I call it an Nazi killing machine. It can be fired entirely one-handed, with only minimal impact to accuracy. And it's the only rifle in your arsenal that can be reloaded entirely one-handed. While slightly less lethal than a bolt-action rifle, it's deadlier than any semi-automatic. Well, this is quite the treat. Your friend Marcel made this custom for you in his workshop. Talk about something that goes boom. It's easily the most lethal sidearm we have at close range. Though, so it comes with a massive bullet spread. There's also an intense kickback when firing quickly, one-handed. Either hold it with both hands while firing, or take a short pause between each shot to account for the recoil. Spent shells can be ejected by simply jerking the weapon in any direction. After new shells are loaded, the barrels can be reset in the same one-handed way. It's a lot of training. Gewehr 43. An impressive weapon. It requires a bit more effort to reload than the Garand. A larger magazine. It's every bit as accurate as the other semi-automatic weapons, but rapidly firing the Gewehr's entire magazine will cause its accuracy to go down. Interesting. Very interesting. What do we got here? The M1A1 submachine gun. The weapon of choice for many American officers. Classic. 30 bullets in the magazine. The Classic. The MP40, a deadly submachine gun. It has a slower fire than the M1A1, but in the right hands, it can be more lethal. The MP40 has reliable accuracy and a slightly larger magazine, but it has the lowest firing rate among all automatic weapons. However, the MP40 yeah, I got it. Like other automatic weapons I got it. Thank you. Firing the entire magazine once. That's the German Oh! 
Live fire gauntlet. Um. Secure weapon before exiting. Oh, I need to choose a weapon. Chat, um, I'm choosing weapons. Ah, your trusty sidearm. Chat. The semi automatic 1911 A1 pistol. I have to. Reliable and accurate. It's quite useful at mid to long ranges with both hands and mid to short ranges. Go for with the. One hand. Yeah, you're right. The I'm magazine worried. holds seven bullets. Always keep it loaded. Yeah, I think we're good. Ammo. Okay, good. It's weird because, like, you're. Like, in the game, when you play VR, like, here's the, the soldier in front of your face, and you're just shooting them in the face rapidly and nothing happens. It's just bizarre. Good luck on your VR is fucking weird. I mean, not every VR game has the same level of inactivity when you shoot an NPC. Chat, now it is time to get my lazy ass back up. Why am I fucking massive? I am God! Keep an eye on the lighthouse. We're supposed to look for a signal. You think that was the signal? Oh. You say so. That explosion got the attention of all the German Jank. patrols in the area. This place is about to be crawling with Nazis. Jank. Lieutenant, we need you to eliminate all incoming enemies while Ali and I help Mano with the supplies. Load up on ammunition and first aid. The Germans will be there any second. I'm good on first aid, Sarge. I'm very tall, Sarge. Very tall, Sarge. Gosh. Great job, Lieutenant. You eliminated the last of the German patrols. Really? Yeah, there, there's- I see now, like, kind of, where this could have been so much better. Oh well. Check the drawers. For the code book, Lieutenant. I'm sure it's in the house somewhere. Excellent work. Good thing it was on the bed. Always keep your eye out for code books and reconnaissance photos. Every bit of information will help us win the war. And who knows, you might be able to liberate some music for your record collection. Stand by, Lieutenant. We're heading your way. And it's on to do we song. Not, okay, so it's just really just short little sequences. Se secret base. This is our base of operations. The village of De Buisson. Most people here are good. Good thing they fixed those eyes. We must operate in the shadows. 
You never know where the Gestapo has eyes. How bad have things gotten? The German occupation has turned every neighbor into a possible enemy. That's terrible. I will do anything to get the Nazis out of my country. The Third Reich is ruthless. But Sorry, so I get bored. Resistance. This is what happens when you give me hands in a video game. I grew up here. My old ah. teacher still lives in that house. My grandpère was the village tailor. My parents owned the bicycle shop. That's the boucherie. Where my brother worked. And here we are. Our secret base. I want to shoot. Uh, I like shooting. Good looking carrots. It just, you just teleport. They just like black screen teleport you. Welcome to my bookstore. Marcel has a special workshop upstairs for things you know. But the boom. <laughs> what is this object? We have a serious problem. Something big is happening inside Gestapo headquarters, and we don't know what it is. Against my wishes, Juliette works inside, undercover as a clerk. She's seen a dramatic increase in radio transmissions and coded messages. What's it all about? I have something, I don't know what, locked away on the second floor. I can't get near it. They've even brought in the Waffen SS. We need to find out, but our usual source of information has suddenly gone quiet. He knows what's going on. Is he a high-ranking German? Worse. He's French. A collaborator. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Louis Metz. He used to be mayor of this town. But he has now <laughs> betrayed everything and everyone. But if he's a Nazi collaborator, why does he help you? Because we have photographs. Whatever propels Louis to betray his nation also propels him to drink. And um, other excesses. This man is depraved in government. <sighs> Have no doubt he will do anything to save his own skin. But something has him spooked badly enough that he broke off contact with us two weeks ago. And we're going to go after him. So we're gonna kill him? No. Kidnap. Well, chat, yeah, uh, you know, this is mission one, technically, I guess. This, this technically is mission one. I think the game is trying to go halfway between, like, people who are new at VR and people who have played it. But um, at the moment, I'm just kind of feeling like it doesn't do any of those, either of them particularly well like it almost could have been something really cool it just makes me want like a real medal of honor that is in vr at this point it's not bad though like it's you know a black screen again mate i'll explain it when you're older mate another Objective. What is this? Top secret? Louis and his <laughs> convoy will pass through here in a few minutes. He travels with an entourage of well trained troops, so we need to be careful. What are you thinking? We set a trap. Some dynamite along the road. This is why you don't give the player a gun during a, a cutscene. Some spigot guns in And. Our people positioned along the road. We have to be precise. We need to neutralize everyone but Louis. No witnesses. Lieutenant, let's put a plan together. Where do you want the dynamite? Right there. Can we put it there?
What button does it want me to press? Uh huh. Right. Excellent choice. Boom. And now our people. I don't know what any of this means. Is the problem? Like. Be careful. Juliet. <laughs> Why am I getting to choose? Say on the other side. That doesn't seem like a good spot. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Everyone's all split up. The convoy will be here soon. You can see everything from up there. Bonne chance. Vinny, you're a lieutenant, you're an officer. I just joined this war like 25 minutes ago. Oh god, if this is a sniper mission. Where's the dude who I put on the mountain? <laughs> I think I shot him! Shoot everyone but him. Thank you. English, please? Yes, I feel like we're missing some interesting discourse here. Why haven't you reported in? It's been two weeks. They know there's a spy. What are the Nazis up Just wasting ammo. I have zero patience right now, Louis. If you think that they're <laughs> treating you bad, imagine when we tell the Gestapo all about your nocturnal activities. Remember, I have pictures. <laughs> what do you want? There is a list. A list? Of all the resistance members in Normandy, the Gestapo's been compiling it for months. We are bringing in a trainload of special groups to Flowers. round everyone up. When? No. No, I'm not ready to. Good oh, night. Five o'clock. Oh, he got punched in the dick. I think. Marcel. Yeah, let me help. What does he have? Wood down there? Oh. No, not like that. Like, 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 teak. Like mahogany. Like, train sabotage. So how does one become a collaborator? What are the job qualifications? Weakness? Cowardice? Or just plain self-centered opportunism? <laughs> All of the above. Unfortunately for me, we still have a little business to take care of. I cannot go back to the Gestapo looking this good. I'll help. I need to look like I bravely escaped. I don't want to hurt my dreams of becoming a concert pianist. Lieutenant, please do the honor. Lieutenant, time to catch a train. Can I punch him in the stomach? God. Everything ready? 
Of course, mademoiselle. Okay, let's fall back. No, no, I'm <sighs> safe here. I'm pretty confident in my measurements. Are you crazy? Sacre bleu. Oh, God help us. Am I playing a video game? See? I told you. Why do I have this? <laughs> Fuck. Yes, Diamond. These janky ass running animations, my god. Anyone left? Anyone? Over there, I guess. This game has LOD issues that are very, very obvious. And yet the system requirements are still fucking bonkers. What a shame this didn't get like a proper development. I don't know. What, what am I doing? Defeat the surviving Nazis. Where? In the train? Yo, I was in the train. Guess you don't know. Launchers in here. Uh. I don't know, maybe there's one over here. I didn't mean to do that. I just killed myself. <laughs> uh. Wunderbar. Oh, that is not wunderbar. This situation calls for a panzer See if you can find one. Lieutenant, 
Shoot the scout tank with a Panzerfaust. It's the only thing that will get through its armor. Yeah, I know, I know, but something very not wunderbar just happened. So I'll just wait for the Pavlov World War II update, which should be soon. Nice work, Marcel. Merci beaucoup. This gentleman appears to be the highest ranking German on the train. Not the this is one of Rudolf Miller's men. Uh oh. <clears throat> Miller is the director of special projects for the German High Command. He's involved. It's not good for anyone. He's not very nice. What's it say? Hell, lots of words in German. Oh, well, I can read German. Just give it to me, I'll do it. Operation Annihilation. This kid reads German too. Amazing. Forge documents, fight, shoot, run. Round up some oh. resistance members all over Normandy. What does he breathe too? And not just suspected members, every person in their family too. What about Alice? Of extreme secrecy, there's only one copy being kept in a safe on the second floor of Gestapo headquarters. It says that the list has over 400 names on it. Well, shit. They're just going to keep sending trains. We need to get that list. The second floor is guarded around the clock. I have an idea. Me too. I know. The frontal assault on Gestapo headquarters is a much different proposition than pushing a convoy or blowing up a train. We can't do it alone. C'est vrai. It's true. We need more resistance members, but that's much easier said than done. <gasps> I know who we could get. No, no, oui. no, no, oui, no, oui, no, oui. no, 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 no. They're crazy. Oh, Marcel. I'm afraid I agree with your sister. They're idiots. What are we talking about? <sighs> the Vino brothers. The Vino brothers. We have to be very careful. Since they keep the cells separate, no one knows for sure who is really in the resistance. Everyone is suspicious of each other. I know what you're thinking. How can we trust this group is truly resistance? Well, some cells are not as discreet as others. They're not that bad. It's like a dream I've had. Like where you go to open the door and, and like you can't. Like, you can't grab anything? The Vino Brothers. I'm a, I'm a Vino Brother. The Vino Brothers did not trust you. We have to be very careful. Since they keep the cells separate. We have to be very careful. Since they keep the cells separate, no one knows for sure who is really in the resistance. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the main menu. Uh, so it looks like if I play too much more of this, I can't get a refund. And I'm not sure I, I want this. Uh, it's, it's pretty... Like, when you compare this to something like Half-Life Alex, it's just so limited and the missions are broken up. It's just very basic. Do like a multiplayer match. I'll do like a <sighs> like a 
a multiplayer match. Do like a multi. Vinny, you have like five minutes. I have more than that. I've been keeping... I've been keeping track. So when you do survival... Oh, you do start with a gun. Okay. This, this walk cycle is just bizarre. It's so, like, weird and, like, jumpy and... Oh. Well, I survived a full minute. Yeah, I don't know about this. I feel like it, it just, like, the groundwork is here for something, but that story mode wasn't really doing anything for me. And, uh, the multiplayer is better. I actually like the multiplayer better. The fixes have helped, but it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make this game, like, amazing by any means. Like I said, Half-Life Alex, this is not... Hell, it's not even, like, some of the best indie games. Even some of the more mediocre ones, really. But it could have been good, I guess. I just don't see myself playing this any more than I already did. But the single player- listen, I know I was shooting people in the face. And, um... You know, I wasn't really taking it too seriously. But, even then... Just, the, the pace of the game was really slow. Play warp, don't know where I am. Play warp briefing, don't know where I am. Play warp briefing. Alright, I think that's the end of Medal of Honor chat. <laughs> Let's see. Eighty five point two hours. Wait, that's OVR toolkit. <laughs> uh, one hundred and seven minutes. Medal of no honor. None. I'm good. Let's let's take a look at Blade and Sorcery and see if it's um running any better. Well, 
Well, H3 VR is good. I'm going to stream that next week for Christmas. And then um, Pavlov is really good. This just misses the mark. What a, what a shame for Respawn. They get this legendary franchise to try to revive for VR, and it just ends up being like really, I don't know, just cheap feeling. Again, not terrible. Like, playable, and it's there. A lot of the assets are there, but mixed. Like, mixed is definitely how I'd feel about it. 3080 should help with Blade and Sorcery performance. Should. They probably started before VR improvements were common. I think that this game was started a while back and it got like pushed to development hell. This is what the theory is and they didn't get the resources or time to work on it and it was so far back that a lot of the VR improvements over the past two years didn't really yeah, get put in the game. Blade and Sorcery is not responding. VR requires a huge amount of R&D that they probably didn't have. They had to build out VR support for Fortnite. Wait, what? Did I read that wrong? I might have read that wrong. <laughs> 